Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a ton of trash. <laughs> I didn't do my empties for March, but I saved them. So I have for March and for April. So we're going to have to just jump right in and get started. Okay, so first I have some Epsom salt. This is just the Equate brand that I get at Walmart. Um, it's really good for soaking for aches and pains. My husband and I both use a lot of Epsom salt, so a good one to get um, if you're at Walmart. It's just your basic Epsom salts. Then I have a shower gel um, body wash and this is from Jason. This is the Camille body wash. Um, I normally like all of the Jason body washes, but the Camille one I did not like. Um, I didn't really like the scent, and for some reason, this one just didn't really lather up the way that I liked. It took a lot of product, it seemed, to really get the lather that I like. So I won't repurchase the Camille. I really like the Rose one, is the one that I like the most. And I have a little um, travel makeup remover wipe from Nature. No, this is from Equate brand from Walmart. I picked this up so I could take it on our trip to um, Florida, just in my little travel bag. And they they were actually pretty nice. I liked them, so it could be a possibility. I may do a repurchase of those. Just depends on how they compare in price. Um, then these from the Apple line. Um, I get these at Big Lots for $2.50. Um, I have been using these for years and I really like these. I'm down to my last pack, so I need to get into Big Lots and purchase some more, but I did, I like both of those. So another product that will definitely be a repurchase for me, and this is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion number three. I've been using this for years and years and years and years. I can't tell you how many years I have been using this. Um, I want to say I have been using this going on, see my daughter is 26, um, probably for a good 24 years at least. So I use this morning and evening, and you would be surprised just when you think you have really gotten your face cleansed and gotten everything off, and then you swipe this over your face with a exfoliating cotton round, just what I like to use, and then you see all the gunk <laughs> that is still on your face. You're like, wow. But anyway, favorite, favorite, favorite clarifying lotion. It's like a toner. I use it as a toner. Then a skin so soft, um, body oil, bath oil. Um, this is from Avon. It's been around for many moons. I remember my mom getting skin so soft. Um, the original, this is not the original. This is the one that is the signature silk with argon in it husband absolutely loves this, puts this in the bath water. I put it in my bath water. It's wonderful for just help hydrating the skin and just make sure everything stays soft and smooth. We'll definitely repurchase whenever I run out of my stash. Um, I think I have three more bottles of it in backup. Of uh, this one between this one and um, the original, we kind of rotate back and forth. But anyway, used one of those. And then this is a um, bath and shower gel from Philosophy. It was the Iced Orchid um, from Christmas. I didn't finish this up. I had my husband use it um, for his bowl baths. I just can't use it. It would itch my arms too bad, I guess, because of the fragrance in it. So I wasn't able to finish using it just for that reason. So it won't be a repurchase for me. I have just found that this type of product, these, the ones from Bath & Body Works, I just can't use. They just irritate me too much. I just wanna claw my skin off. So I have to stick with the Jason because those don't irritate me. Finished up a really good um, shave cream that I found in the men's section at Walmart. It's the Cremo Original Shave Cream. They have one in the women's section, works just the same. The only difference between the two is just the scent. This one, I 
if I remember right. Yeah, this one is a citrus scent. The one in the women's section is a um, like a mango scent. Both of them perform wonderfully. Um, if you are a bath taker and you like to shave your legs in the bath, this is really good because it doesn't gunk up, it rinses off clean, and it doesn't leave any type of um, chunks that's gonna float around in the tub. <laughs> anyway, I use this as the last thing whenever I um, have finished my bath so but anyway I do like the Cremo this is probably my third one of these that I have used there's another one of the Jason um, bath and shower gels body washes and this was in the citrus this was a very nice refreshing scent definitely a good one to pick up for the summer months and the only reason why I used it at the tail end of winter because I just had like just a little bit left in it. So I went ahead and just finished it up. Oh, here's another one of the makeup remover wipes from Apple. Mm, another Skin So Soft. This is the original. This is the one that started it all um, from Avon. So we had one of those. Then I had a it cosmetic CC cream this is the original one the color correcting with SPF 50 in the color fair that I um, finished using up I'm not for sure if I'm going to repurchase because I think this may have been one of the culprits that was breaking me out but on the other hand it could have been breaking me out because it was quite old um, I've had it for quite some time and I'm sure it was completely expired because of the sunscreen in it and that could have been the cause of it but anyway but I really did like it I really do like it I like the finish of it I like the coverage of it um, the only thing that I wish that they would do even though this is fair and it's the absolute lightest color that you can get I wish they would come out with one that's like maybe porcelain because this was even a little bit too dark for me. So that's the only thing I wish that um, it Cosmetics would do is come out with these in a little bit um, lighter shades. A um, exfoliating cotton rounds from the Target brand Up and Up and this package for whatever reason and I'm thinking it's probably because I bought it at Walls, which is like a, a closeout type store. I think they, there might have been something wrong with them because they really pulled apart something horrible. But I have, I'm on my second pack of these that I bought at Target that are fine. There's nothing wrong with them and they work wonderfully. So I think that's probably that these were probably damaged. <laughs> which is what a lot of times you can get at Walls is damaged product. Um, here is a cleansing balm that I finished, and this was from the Nuni um, line that Ulta used to carry. It's a Korean skincare brand, and this was a um, just a cleanser. And um, I finished it. I really did like it because it really kind of rinsed off clean and... Um, Unfortunately, I mean, you can still get this off like Amazon and places like that, but um, Ulta doesn't carry it anymore. I'm, and I remember getting that on clearance, so I got a really good deal on it. Finished up a toothpaste, and this was the Colgate Optic White High Impact White. And this really does make your teeth white. Let me tell you, yes, it does. So if you are in need of a really, really good whitening toothpaste, I definitely recommend this. Right now I'm using one that is supposed to be good, you know, for your gum health and stuff. But I think after I finish that tube, I'm going to get a tube of this again and use that again. Let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I have this from Bobbi Brown and this was the um, Vitamin E Enrich Enriched face base and what I was using this for this is a moisturizer but what I was using it for was a primer so I was using it as my last skincare step before putting makeup on it worked wonderful as just a skin prep 
to get your skin all prepped and plumped and ready for foundation and it worked perfectly especially if you have dry mature skin like I do absolutely loved it and would definitely consider repurchasing but I have one from Charlotte Tilbury that's kind of similar to it that I'm using right now that I want to use up and I need to use up some other primers before I get another primer so but anyway that's definitely going to go on my repurchase list and because I really did like that here is definitely going to be a repurchase list this is botanic oh wait I cannot read that I guess I have to get new glasses completely new glasses my three-year-old granddaughter headbutted me the other day right like right here and broke my glasses <laughs> my glasses that I wear every day like all day long to be able to see botanic farm and this is the rice ferment first essence love this stuff this is really good I use this every morning as one of my essences that I use every morning take that back I didn't use it in the morning this was the nighttime essence one of the essences that I used at night <laughs> Anyway, I love this and um, would definitely put this on my list to repurchase. And if I remember correctly, I, I either got it off of Soko Glam or Wish Trend. And I got it during the holidays when they were doing their big Black Friday sales. So I'm definitely going to put that on my wish list on either one of those websites if I can remember which one it was. And um, to repurchase while they're having their sales because I really did like that. I don't need to repurchase any right now because I have two or three essences that I need to work through and use before they go off. And I um, want to use those up. But that one was a really good one. This one I didn't really care for so I'm not going to repurchase this. But this is the Peach and Lily. And I got this off at Ulta. It's the Wild Dew treatment essence for um, drench and rewind mm, I had lotus and bamboo in it I didn't really care for this and um, but I did finish it it was okay this one I did use of the morning time but um, mm, I just didn't really notice any visible results with it and so and it had like a herbally scent to it I guess that's probably the bamboo that I'm smelling in it but anyway so no I wouldn't I'm not going to repurchase this repurchase this but it is kind of nice that the peach and lily line is now being sold at Ulta so it's a little bit more readily available for um, to get some good Korean skincare and then I also finished up my Claire's sunscreen this was a sunscreen that is also a moisturizer that I purchased. I got this during a Black Friday sale. This was in the Gothamista bundle pack that they were selling. And she put this in there because this is one of her favorite um, sunscreens. But it's the Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence Everyday Sun Protector. And it has the SPF 50 um, PA plus 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 but anyway this was really good and I really like this and this is going to be a repurchase I have another sunscreen that I'm using right now that I don't really like because um, it's one of those ones that kind of makes me feel like I'm suffocating but I'm trying to work through it before I buy another one I bought one from Neutrogena and I didn't like it and I really think that was maybe the cause of my breakouts oh I, I'm thinking everything's making me break out I'm so paranoid <laughs> about what I'm putting on my skin but anyway I really really did like this and it was really good I mean I I took my little tube ringer to this and just squeezed the heck out of this to make sure I got everything out of this and um I really did like this and this I know I did get off of um, wish trend oh and then this little guy this was the nine wishes um, hydra 
Glowing Deep Hydration um, Serum. This came in one of my pink sew boxes, and I did like this. I used this of the morning as just a hydrating serum, and it really worked very nicely as just plumping and hydrating the skin and just helped really, looked really pretty under makeup and didn't um, like peel up or anything like that. It was just a really nice hydrating serum. Then I have a um, is a tree hyaluronic acid toner that I finished up and this again came from a pink soul box and I did enjoy this but I don't think I would um, repurchase it I have I've been watching this one youtuber and I can't think of her name but anyway um, she's been recommending a lot of toners that I'm interested in from Haba Laba and so as I kind of start working through some of my other Korean toners, I want to start trying some of those that she's recommended from Haba Lava. So I'm not going to repurchase any of these other ones just yet. Then I have a eye gel, under eye gel from, who was this from? Estee Lauder. I didn't like this. It wasn't moisturizing enough for me, and I just didn't like this at all. And it was the Nutritis Vitality 8. Vitality 8. Is that an 8 or a 6? No, that's an 8. No, I didn't really like it. It was supposed to be Radiant Eye Jelly for contouring. Under, no, I didn't like it. There's an Avon one. That is so much better than this and a whole lot cheaper than this. But no, I didn't like that. Definitely won't repurchase. Uh, a beauty sponge. Time to let it go. And plus this was real. I used this during when my breakouts was at their heaviest. And so I, I think it's contaminated. So I'm letting it go. <laughs> yeah. And a mascara. I really like this mascara. And I'm going to, or I have purchased one of another one of these during the Sephora sale. But it's the Milk Beauty Kush Mascara. And it's just a small size one. That lasted me a really long time. Probably longer than what I put in. Should have used it. So I think I used it for probably three months. Because I, I purchased it during the November sale. So I used it November, December, January, February, March, April. No, I think I put it in there March. Six months. I used it for six months. Yeah, I did. So for and it's twelve dollars. But I really liked it though. I did. I did. I liked it. Um, what else do I have in here? This is just a little um, sample size of the Clinique Surge face spray moisture surge this was really nice it was just a deluxe sample size and it was very hydrating and i used it to after i did all my makeup and everything i like to put a mist over my face before i put a setting spray just to kind of get that powder look down and just to rehydrate my face and this was really really nice for that i did enjoy that <laughs> This look, this guy right here is a joke. If you see this at Ulta, because they sell this size at Ulta, it's the Triple Sec Dry Bar. I think that's what it is, Dry Bar Triple Sec. There was hardly anything in the sky to even get one use. It's a three-in-one dry shampoo, I think. It's 12 mil. And there went hardly a speck in here to use one time. So I can't even tell you anything about it. But I put it in here anyway. Just to tell you, if you see this at Ulta at the little checkout stand, you know, where they put those little goodies in that tower, don't waste your money because you're not even going to get enough in there to use it once. So don't waste your money. I was really kind of ticked off about that. It, I got it as a free sample, but... If I would have bought it, man, I would have been tipped. Here's another really good mascara. I really like this one. This is the Superhero It Cosmetic Mascara. And I could really kick myself for not buying it while it was on the 21 Days of Beauty, but I was still on my no-buy, and I just wasn't ready to purchase. 
So I didn't get it, but it was on sale for half off. But man, I like this mascara. And um, on my upcoming Ulta haul, I purchased some drugstore mascaras that I'm just not happy with. And I really wished I would have got this while it was on sale. Ugh. But anyway, use that up. Love it. Here is a little sample of some Bioderma eye cream that I used here at my vanity while I was getting ready of the morning. Gosh, what is this called? Sensobio Eye Gel. This did not have enough moisturization for anything at all. <laughs> no. And um, what I would do with this is just I would put it just to rehydrate my eyes because sometimes when I put my makeup on, I get a little fallout here from eyeshadow so I have to wipe it away and then I want to rehydrate my eyes before I do concealer and stuff so I just used it for that but it wasn't hydrating enough really I wouldn't recommend buying it if you see it then I finished up one of my favorite eyeliner pencils and this was from Pure it was the On, on Point eyeliner in the color Rain which was the purple it just didn't last long enough. I think because it was one of these type that you put, when you put it in here and you screw it, it automatically sharpens it. And I think by doing that, it wastes a lot of it. That's the only thing. But anyway, so I went through one of those. I think I have a couple more too that are almost on their very last, last leg. I finished up a Murad Advanced. Oh, gotta get these little glasses out. The Advanced, and I still can't see out of them, Active Radiant Serum. I'm gonna have to get new readers too. I really like this. Um, if I was in the market to buy a new serum, that would be one of the top ones that I would pick from. Then I have a Drunk Elephant Marula Oil that I finished. I would not never pay the price that this is because um, you can find other Marula Oils from other brands that are just as good but without the price tag. So Then from Belief, I finished the Hungarian... Does that say Hungarian? the Hungaria water essence. Um, I took this to Florida with me and it was it was really nice. I enjoyed it while I had it and I think I have another sample of these like this but um, it was good. I think everything from the Belief line is actually pretty doggone good. So anyway, I did use up one of those. We're almost there. We're almost there. I know I'm kind of going a little fast, but anyway, one of my favorite um, makeup setting sprays from Catrice. This is the called the Long Lasting Fixing Spray. Oh man, I think I bought the wrong one now. Darn it! And for my Ulta haul, I bought a different one than this one. Darn it! Anyway, it's the multi multi-talent fixing spray I think I bought the one that's luminizing what does it say anyway this one really works pretty good it's, it's less than ten dollars right but you're only getting 1.69 fluid ounces and the reason why it's like this is because I always depot it decant it and put it in my Urban Decay um, setting spray bottle because that has such a, a good mist on it so I and I don't like the sprayers on these so I am um, decant it and put it in that spray bottle from Drunk Elephant, I had this deluxe size sample of the um, something something jelly cleanser. <laughs> I can't see it. The Bestie Number no. Nine Jelly Cleanser. It was okay. I mean, it was a cleanser. I didn't really. I mean, it was okay. I'm not going to spend that kind of money on a cleanser for my face. So, 
anyway. Then from Laura Mercier, I finished this little travel size of the bronze number three. <sighs> I gotta open it to show you, to prove to you. Whoops. I gotta get a new um, empties container. This one is getting so grungy and gross. But anyway, yes, I did finish that. So, whoop, whoop. Finished a <laughs> makeup product. Finished that. And then, this was such a sad day. I finished my Clinique Happy. I have been using Clinique Happy for 24 years. Ever since I started using Clinique products, I finished, oh, why is my camera up there blinking? What does that mean? Oh, cannot mean that my memory card is full. But anyway, I've been using Clinique products ever since my daughter was just a little bitty. And I consider this to be one probably my signature scent and I ran out of this way back at the beginning of my no buy so I haven't been able to repurchase it but anyway so I finished that and then I finished another perfume from Elizabeth and James okay I'm still recording I don't know why my thing up there was flashing that worries me. Anyway, from Elizabeth and James, and this was the Norvana Black. And I would tell you I would repurchase it, but um, if you haven't heard, oh gosh, that smells so good though. Oh, anyway, um, they're no longer going to be making any of the um, Nirvana perfumes anymore. So like the bourbon that I absolutely love, the black, the white, all of those are you're not going to be able to get anymore unless you find them on like fragrance net and maybe some of those places for a while but I don't know what happened but yeah they are being discontinued oh man that smells good and every time I would wear this I would get compliments every time I would wear this man you smell so good you smell so good I'm like thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> Anyway, so that was that. And then, I didn't think I would have time to get to this, but I have a couple of declutter items that I'm getting out of my collection. So the first one is a mascara. This was one of those freebies in one of the past Ulta hauls that I had where I got you know a whole bunch of free stuff. This is a mascara from... Who is this from? It's a sport waterproof mascara from Ico. From Ico. Oh, this is horrible mascara. It flakes. It makes my eyelashes droop. <laughs> I don't like it at all. And I was thought, well, I'm going to suffer through it. It has that curved wand. I don't like a curved wand. It has a funky smell to it. And I was like, you know what? I am not, I'm not going to do it. I'm not. I'm not going to torture myself and make myself wear a mascara that I got for free that I don't like. I'm not going to do it. I'm not. And then the next thing I'm taking out of my collection is something that I actually really do like, but it has just gotten so goopy and so sticky that I just can't wear it. So... And I, I mean, I have worn a lot of it. You can, well, you probably can't see it, but I can see it where uh, it could almost be considered an empty, almost. I've worn it a lot. This from Wet n Wild. And I don't even know if they even still carry this. But oh, gosh darn it, I can't see a doggone thing. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Blast liquid lipstick I know it's a liquid lipstick but oh, heck if I know what color it is it's a red I know it's a red I'm sorry I can't make out any color I, I'm telling you my eyes have gotten so blurry it's just so bad I will swatch it for you it's really pretty I really like it I don't even know if they even still carry make these Mega Blast liquid lipsticks that look like that. I haven't looked in so long. 
But anyway, it's a color that looks like that. Ooh, see? So pretty. But anyway. But like I said, it just gets so sticky and so goopy. And I've been wearing it. But, um, and it stays on all day. I mean, like, all cut, cut me off. How rude. But anyway, I was saying as it starts to try and wear away, it kind of looks like, you know, old paint starting to chip off. <laughs> it just doesn't look good. Anyway. And it's starting to get a funky smell to it, too. And I've had it for a long time. Three, probably three years, four years. Yeah, a long time. So I'm decluttering that out of my collection, those two things. So anyway, so that is it for my empties for um, March and April. <laughs> Quite a bit. But anyway, so um, if you like my makeup today, um, stay tuned because I'll be showing these products um, coming up in my Ulta haul. It's going to be a doozy, so you will want to stay tuned for that. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me today, and I will be talking to you soon. Bye.